long session which will deliberate on one of the most crucial issues facing our time today. I don't see this as a threat. I see this as a dialogue and an open conversation with people who I've come to know, learn from and admire. I'm so glad that we've got them all on the dais and also amongst us in the room. Um, there can't be a better time to have a conversation on both data protection, governance frameworks, and why do I see them not as a threat but as an opportunity? Um, we, as in Mobi, started uh, back in 2008 and we went on to become India's first unicorn. It's um, a term that's bandied about quite a lot these days. This is also not just the story of a single startup or a group of four engineers who started from Kanpur. This is a story of India's growth, India's aspiration, and which are now about 1.42 billion aspirations. I am both personally and deeply invested in seeing not just our trillion dollar digital economy goal, but our five trillion dollar digital economy, our overall economy goal succeed. And one of the biggest conversations that we're having today is entrepreneurship, job creation, looking at MSMEs, looking at micro industries playing much larger roles in the global supply chains. How does that happen? Um, I've got colleagues and friends who traversed this journey when cyber security was this nebulous word and you could only have conversations between governments, between multilateral organizations in very conversation that I was wearing my teacher hat and I was teaching in Delhi University, which is why it's so wonderful to see colleagues from all stakeholder groups in this day, um, today together with us and congratulations to the AstroCham team and also the incredible leadership of Dr. Lavdish Chandra for making this an open dialogue. For the longest time, I've maintained that each of us are a very, very important stakeholder. When you're looking at the conversation today, one of the biggest words being used is generative AI and the impact that it is having on economies globally, uh, not just the US but in India. And whenever you look at a new technology, the diffusion of innovation takes a lot of time, there's skepticism, therefore the call for scientific temper, therefore for the, the call for evidence-based policy making. Uh, my colleague before me spoke about the importance and the cross-cutting importance of data and governance across every single vertical. Uh, when we look at a framework, and especially technology, because for the first time, India is not a vacuum boy. We are not just uh, processing large amounts of data for companies globally. We are making sure that consumer first, technology first, OSS digital services are being crafted in India and therefore a mindset change happened. Uh, privacy as a right is a battle that not just corporates, industries, academia, civil society, governments of the day have supported because they have understood that uh, every stakeholder is an equal participant in this journey and especially for corporates. I know that you know, the real heroes are going to come in session one, session two, the panels that will talk about CISOs who do this day in and day out. And these are people who require support from cross functions, where it's not just about compliance, it's not just about ISO certifications. What we're talking about is India's leap forward, playing a much larger role in the global economy space because of geopolitics, because of the fact that we have the three magic C's. You have content, creativity, you have consumption. And we have reversed that by value adding to our engineering talent, which is incredible, to now create technology for technology. And that is the leap of faith that we are discussing today. So as far as frameworks go, you identify, mitigate, protect, and then you resolve. And then you continue to build with acknowledgement, aspiration, that data privacy and data governance is never going to be an afterthought anymore. If that's one pledge and one thought that we take away from here. Uh, our second unicorn glance is now on 400 million lock screens. Before you even unlock the phone, that's the first thing that users see today. Not just in India, but in South Asia, Indonesia. As of yesterday, we launched in the US. It's a very proud moment for companies that were built in India, grew out of India. And therefore, it's not just an India story, it's now a global story where we're competing with the best, where we're making in India, we're making it for the world. So when the next set of companies come in, large corporate governance frameworks, uh, information technology security, not just as an afterthought, but as an ability to move the needle and say, hey, privacy can be my 
advantage. It can be my secret sauce when I go into building technologies. We don't want to preach to the converted, but this is a conversation that needs to be had every single day at table saying, when I start creating new products, privacy is not going to be an afterthought. It's the first thing that we will solve for. Therefore, privacy first, therefore privacy by design. And the last leg is, what is it that each of us can do? I see this conversation as a bottom-up movement where every single citizen is an equal stakeholder. So your mobile, which is now at about 800 million smartphone devices and increasing every single day, our internet penetration is at the highest. And as we go into the Amrit Khan and start solving for India at 100, this is a conversation that we need to have not leave anybody behind, ensure that digital capacity building is taking place from India to Bharat and each of us becomes a cyber warrior and a cyber champion. So therefore saying that I elected my government and therefore I gave up all my power is not a conversation, it's running away from responsibility. So with great freedom comes great responsibility and which is why I see partners from the industry and as we go from this deliberation, Building a coalition together where we make sure that each of us work hard and very, very hard, very carefully to keep the internet free, safe and open. Uh, during the course of the day, again, you will have specific sectoral conversations, but this is a conversation that uh, the time is now and the time is right because after 20 years, we are now revising the IT Act and you will see a set of bills and drafts come out for consultation. Uh, which is what we are hearing. So let us continue to engage, let us continue to contribute and I hope you have a wonderful day full of sessions, questions and conversations on two of my most favourite things, internet and freedom along with responsibility. Thank you so much for the opportunity.